Hi, my name is Will Stribling. I'm going into my sophomore year at University of Oregon and just got done taking a lesson with poor Zach Golf and this is my what's in the bag. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, let's start with my wedges. I carry a 50 degree, 58 degree, and 54 degree and um, got 10 degrees of bounce on the 50 and 54 with 7 on the 58. Um, I use majority of the time my 58 out of the bunkers and so I like to be able to slide through the sand better with it. This one is their milled wedge. They have a different name for their forged wedge so and this is just the one I felt most comfortable using when I was testing them out. Let me show you guys a little bit of tips with your wedges. The first thing I try to do when I hit my wedge shots is I choke up on the golf club just to give myself a little bit more control over it and stand a little closer and then I try to just hit little low draws to control the height and trajectory. So when I'm standing a little closer to it, that's going to get it a little bit lower put it maybe a little more middle of my stance. I never really put it too far back because I've found that when I hit down on it, it shoots up the club face and kind of flies high. And then I just kind of try to really feel like I'm coming from the inside and I keep my chest over, over the ball and out in front of it with my weight a little left. All right, we'll switch over to some irons now. I play a pitching wedge through four iron in the Callaway Apex MBs. Um, I like them through the whole bag. Um, I like them because I feel like they cut through the turf well, especially if I get myself into a situation in the rough. I feel like I can get the club through the rough a little better, um, and I feel like I have the ability to shape shots a little more. I started using them about a year ago, and I absolutely love them. Right now, with my swing, one thing that I'm really con try to stay conscious about is making sure that club never drops under and under and behind and making sure that my tempo stays good in order to keep my hands out in front of me a little better. shapes you like to play? Um, primarily usually a draw, but I've been working to be able to play anything at any time so that I just feel comfortable with everything. But uh, when it comes down to it, usually a draw. So with starting with 58, I'll do kind of like a max out without swinging way too hard. I'll go 80 with my 58 degree, 104 with my 54 degree, 118 with my 50 degree, 135 with pitching wedge, 45 9 iron, 163 8 iron, 175 7 iron, 185 6 iron, 195 5 iron, 205 4 iron. 3 iron in the bag, which is usually around 230, depending how firm the course is, how much it's going to roll. 3 wood, I love my 3 wood. I can hit it anywhere from about 260. If I really have to jump on it, I can get it out there 280, 285. Um, I've had moments where I can get it deeper if I have a little bit of adrenaline, and then driver, I uh, 295, 300. I've got the KBS S tapers with the 130 grams. Um, I was down to about four shafts when I got fit for these and this was just the one I felt most comf comfortable to hit the shots I needed to hit with it. And I've got the Golf Pride MCC's grips. So I have the Callaway Utility Iron X-Forged in the bag, 18 degrees. I, uh, I love this thing. I can hit it high, hit it low. 
I feel comfortable hitting it into greens, hitting it off of tees. It's just kind of, it does whatever I feel like it needs to do in the moment. So I feel comfortable with it. You want to hit that thing? Sure. There it is. Just had to jump on it a bit more to feel comfortable with it because it's the graphite shaft, so I have to feel like I'm hitting it almost a little more like a wood in the sense that I'm going to go after it a little more. I've got the Tour AD DI-95X in there. I um, wish I could tell you a little bit more about the shaft. I just know I hit it well. <laughs> um, but I know it's actually a super comparable shaft to actually what I use in my 3-wood, which is the Tour AD DI-7X. And I actually still use the Epic Flash 3-wood. It's a 15 degree that I have set down to 14 degrees. And, um, and I would say this is probably one of my two favorite clubs in my bag, either this or my putter. I just feel so comfortable with this in my hand, especially in the greens, which just feels so good for um, par fives and two and even short, super short par fours, so. <laughs> Um, got driver, got a PXG 0811X. Um, we actually just set this down another degree and a half to lower the ball flight and take a little spin off. It's got a speeder shaft in there, um, extra stiff. And uh, yeah, I, I'm loving, I've been loving this thing for a while now. I hit it super straight, so. Right now with my driver, I'm working on generating a little bit more space for myself at impact so that I can swing a little bit more freely through the ball. Um, just by, uh, so I was crowding the ball and getting a little close to it recently. And so I'm just taking a step away. I'm feeling like my hands are almost more under my head, allowing myself to swing out there and just rip it. And then, yeah, finally the putter. I love this thing. Um, I've got this old... Where's head cover real quick? I've seen pretty sweet. Yeah. Oregon, yeah? Oregon, yeah. A Seamus Golf Oregon head cover. Very cool. Um, this is a... Uh, it's pretty old now, Scotty Cameron. It's actually the putter I first used when I started golf. Hmm. Um, it was my dad's and then my sister's. Then it got handed down to me. It's been cut down. We've got lead tape on the top, lead tape on the bottom. Um, Let me see the top real quick. Okay. Uh, what length is it? It's uh, roughly 32 inches. Okay. It's short putter. Um, it's still pretty light even with all the lead tape on there, but I just absolutely love it. My favorite drill, I mean, I love, I love chalk lines. Just throw a chalk line down and put straight putts and um, Truthfully, my favorite thing to do is just, I've also loved the two tees, and you just stroke between the two tees to make sure you have your stroke going straight back, straight through all the time. And then for me, it's um, just set up stuff, so. <laughs> no, I, uh, I use the Titleist Pro V1X, and um, I usually have a little duck on there. Yeah. Not particularly. I um I always keep my rain gloves in here, especially being up in Oregon. So we just I keep them right up in here. Always keep my rain gloves in there. Oh, I love this bag. It's awesome. Um, I've got I've got a couple of them now. Um, I like the color combo. I like that this one says Oregon, but it's a uh, it's awesome. Very cool. Um, do you have an Instagram, Will? I do. Do you want people to follow you there? Sure. It's uh, William.Stribbling. Cool. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for watching my What's in the Bag.
Uh, I forgot what else I was supposed to say. Hey guys, thanks for watching my What's in the Bag. I hope you guys can pick up a few pointers along the way. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below.